Okay, folks, uh, this particular video segment, uh, I'm going to show you how to download uh, Win, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, Python 2.7 uh, for Windows and install that on Windows machine. Uh, that will be the really the main purpose of this uh, video segment because uh, I have made the videos, tutorials for uh, installing and configuring Python 3.6. So this is really to show you how to what you're going to need to do for the Python 2.7. Now, uh, because the, the the it's a short video, so I also add two more pieces to this. Uh, after we show I show you how to do this, uh, how to download and install Python 2.7. I'm also going to show you how do you uh, uh, from the Eclipse environment, how do you install PyDev so you create you can create a, a really a Python development environment under Eclipse environment. The tool is called PyDev, uh, P-Y-D-E-V. Then uh, the last uh, section of this video tutorial I'm going to also show you is how do you uh, clone or check out the, the, the repository from GitHub. This is really for our class uh, uh, purposes because I'm putting all the class material on GitHub. Okay, so let's start it. To to download the Python uh, for Windows is actually rather easy. So what you do is you go to the w.w.python.org uh, website. So this is the URL you will be entering in your browser. Okay. And once you enter it and you get to that website, and you need to click the download menu, okay? So you see, when you hop over to download, you will be able to either you can click there, okay? Then what you see is make sure we're gonna download is 2.7, okay? And just ignore the 14 because as long as you are 2.7, any of the on the third digits numbers 13, 14, 15 all works. We just want to have make sure it's 2.7. Okay, so you click on this, you will be able to download the the, the modules, uh, the the Python install. Now, uh, because you know the time and the interest to keep the time short, I already pre-download this. But trust me, if you click this, it will download. Okay, so. What's what you can end up with a successful downloading? You will see um, this module shows up in your okay in your download directory. This is your download directory. Directory you will see this okay, and the type is Windows installer okay. So now once you have that, you just double click to install. Pretty much, you just leave everything as the install default setting. Don't change anything, okay? So I'll just click next, and it says C colon slash Python 27 slash. We're gonna leave as it is. That's what we want, okay? So it asks. Well, when you first time install, you won't see this, but you know, since I, it's not first time, I have it asked me this. But either way, it will be installed at the this, okay? Python 2.7. Uh, folder. This is the directory where the default location is. We are going to use this default location. Okay. So yes. So the next. Next. So it's going to install this. All right. Because the security reasons, uh, it will ask you if you really want to and we'll say yes. So again, pretty much every Every options uh, you just use what the installer give you the default, no changes. Okay. Okay, it, it is done. All right, now to make sure this is in the right place, if you go to C drive, right, the C drive, and uh, you will see a Python 2.7 directory. Okay, that's what, remember, that's what we're saying. We wanted to default install, we just leave it. 
So that's two, Python 2.7. Okay, that's the directory. Now, this finished the install, but we also need to, to configure uh, the, the this PC environment for the Python. And uh, so this is how you do a configure. There were really two parameters we need to change. So you click on the ex file ex uh, manager on the Windows right here, this little icon. We click on this and make sure you select logo drive C. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So make sure you select this PC. Click on the right button. Okay. So again, in the file manager, highlight that this PC. Click on the right button. And on the bottom of it, it's the property. Okay. That's what would you want to select. Okay. So this is what you select. I'm do I'm gonna do it again. So you click on the right button. Okay. Let me blow up the big so this is the property you you want to select. Okay. Click on the right button, select the, the property, okay, and then from here you wanted to select this advanced setting okay so we'll do select advanced setting now it opens up a system property what we wanted to click uh, select is the environment variable okay so again this is what we want to click okay so click on the environment variable now uh, the parameter we want to modify or edit is actually at the system variable section. So you look at the system variable here. Okay. Make sure you click the right one. Because in the class, there are folks pick the, the top section. Don't do that. Make sure you select the path from the system variable. This is the variable we want to add it. Okay. This tells uh, the Windows system when you enter a command where what path passes where the, the system will go look for that program okay so this is what we want to add it okay so we we'll select the path right and click edit make sure you click the right one okay click edit don't click delete click edit now from here I want to add a new variable okay how you do this you you double click on the the, the blank line so you do this 2.7 okay so that's the first path you want to add it to it so you want to add a, a, a second one Python 2.7 scripts okay now just to make sure you uh, you notice these are actually the ones it's in the in, it's created by the install program already right remember we said it's in the C drive Windows 2.7, I'm sorry, Python 2.7, you see this? I just entered this path, C colon slash Python 2.7, which is this, right? And the next variable I entered was, right? And the next variable I entered is the script, right? So it's this script, C colon slash Python 2.7 slash scripts, okay? So these are the two variables I added to it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm gonna do it again. Okay. So here's the. This is what the. Let me delete this, and I wanna, you know, make sure I. I'm gonna repeat this just so at least the folks. Can, so here, right? C colon slash. Python. Two seven. All right. Then I have another one. C Python slash. C colon. Python 27 slash scripts. Okay, so these are the two variables which matches the in, or the install locations. Okay, so this basically tells Windows. So oh, hold on. So we're gonna click OK to accept the change. OK and OK to get out of to close these. Okay, so this basically tells uh, Windows system say when you type in Python or you type any script within the the scripts directory uh, you type and the system will know where to find it so we can verify this uh, by click by start wind, uh, Windows terminal so you, you do 
the way I do it, there's I already created a shortcut here, but you can do this from you know Windows environment. Uh, so just click on the little window here on the bottom of it, bottom left, and type in command. It actually locates that command. See the command prompt, right? So it opens up a uh, a, t a terminal. Okay. So to make it easier to read, I already adjust the property to make it a big character so folks can uh, easy to to read. But you can invoke that from the command. Okay. From command prompt, right? Command prompt. Anyway, so from here. Uh, to verify your configuration is working, you type in Python. It starts the Python interpreter for you, right? It says 2.714. That's what we installed. So that's all good. Uh, we, can, we can also make sure the scripts directory are also added correctly. Uh, by the way you do this is just run a script inside, uh, you know, within the scripts directory. So one of the common ones we'll be using is called pip, right here. Let me show you. All right, this is a Python package uh, management utility. So we can try to enter this. Okay, uh, I don't need to be in anywhere because the path itself tells the operating system, in this case window, where to look for. Right. So if I type pip, this should come back. Says it knows. So it knows you know where the pip dot executable is and it launches it okay so it tells you the, the options so that's good so this is all um, configured correctly and that's really how you do it uh, you know for Windows to install Python 2.7 okay now I'm gonna move on to the next topic of this video segment segment which is how do you install uh, Python development environment uh, Eclipse because Eclipse, by its own, you know, uh, original goal, it was really developed for uh, Java development work. To to do any, you know, uh, productive Python development work, you really needed to have a, a Python environment. Uh, the folks uh, there are in the Python community and, uh, and the Eclipse community actually created this uh, Python add-on for, uh, for Eclipse IDE. It's called PyDev. Okay, so the way you do this now, I have a older version of uh, Eclipse, but that's okay. If you download, install Eclipse, uh, you know, all you need to do is to start this. It really is not important what version of uh, Eclipse you're using, uh, you know, so that's not a, a, a you can use the latest version is Oxygen. I believe that, but it, it works on the Neo, which is the older version of it, too. So, so I started this, and what you do is actually uh, from just select the help menu in Eclipse, which is on the top menu bar on the right, rightmost. You click click on the Eclipse Marketplace. Okay, so let me make it bigger so folks can see. It. You see this? Eclipse Marketplace. That's what we, we want to pick. Okay, just se select this. So I am going to select the Marketplace. Okay, let me show you again just to double check this, make sure everybody under knows. Select the Marketplace, and then what you do is from here you just type PyDev. P Y D E V. Okay, PyDev. Okay, PyDev, and then click on the search. It will find that particular add-on for you. So PyDev, okay, it's Python IDE for Eclipse. So you click on the install. That will install the. Again, you just, you know. So here is you are accepting you you want to pick this to accept the term of the license agreement, okay, and then do a finish. Now keep in mind, once you install this, I I just click it to select yes. Okay, so uh, once you install this, you really you need to restart the Eclipse. Uh, otherwise, the install will not you can you will not be able to see the install. Okay, so you the but 
the installation program will prompt for reinstall anyway. See, here's a you will need to restart the Eclipse. Okay, so we'll just restart this. When you click on the yes, it will re automatically restart. It takes a bit time, so just give it a second. Because it's a Eclipse actually is a rather big packages. That's one of the criticisms of Eclipse. But anyway, now uh, we have the we have restarted the Eclipse. Uh, we, make sure this is how it looks. Okay, the, the, there is a progress bar to do some in, for installation check. So until the bar, the green progress bar, go away. There's not much you you really cannot click around. So now it's once it's done, now you are able to use the environment. Okay, so this there's there's a check when every time you launch the the the, the this is not there are already some of the stuff because I was you know using this to to to, to set the teaching program but class material. But uh, if you brand new start, there's nothing here. There will be nothing here. Okay, so now to verify this actually works, let's do a create a new Python project. So you select file, click on the file, new, right? And then you come all the way down to other, pick the other, and then from other, you should be able to see, in the list, you should see a entry called PyDev. From PyDev, you want to create a PyDev project, OK? You select highlight PyDev project. I'm going to just call this as hello world. Hello world, right? Now, uh, you want to cl click to select the the very important uh, th thing in this is to pick the interpreter. My machine has Python 3.6 and Python 7, uh, 2.7. So you uh, on your machine, if you, you only have one Python, you still need to click here to specify. That is very, very important. Make sure you pick the right one, OK? So you have to configure this. So I click on this. Just a second, let me make it a bigger so folks can see it. This is where it needs to click, OK? This link, this link you need to click, OK? So I click this link, and then it will tell me. Now, uh, if you are doing this very first time, it's not going to show up like this. It's actually going to ask you, Quick auto install, advanced in, uh, uh, quick auto config, or advanced auto config, or, or it will say new. The way it wouldn't be in this, okay? But which the key to this is in your if the environment is just only one uh, uh, Python version, all you need to do is click quick auto config, okay? So uh, it's not already being configured. So so basically, if you if you click on, hold on a second, let me do this, okay. Basically, if you click on the, uh, the, the, the auto install, it will locate the way, uh, Python 2.7, okay. That, that's the key. If you click the quick install, I know I, I cannot do it because I already preset already. So if you, if you don't have anything, there will be a dialog pop up and uh, it, you have the option. What I'm saying is you need to click, uh, uh, select quick auto config. Okay, once you click this, it it will be selecting the Python interpreter in your machine, which you only have one, which is Python 2.7. Okay, so now you have a, a selected. Let me see Python 2.7. Okay, so you it, this should points to 2.7. So when you've done this, then you click finish, right? It asks you now you are using a PyDev environment. Do you want to associate to that view? I click yes. Okay. So now you have a brand new project, uh, really for Python development work. So the the project name is Hello World, and the interpreter is Py, Python 2.7, which points the direct to the directory where we install this. Right. So you see this. This is where we install. To, so this is all correct, and then. You know, to write a little program to test this, I do a new and PyDev module. Make sure you select PyDev module, okay? 
it's not package it's pydem module so i will do a hello word and we just say read a little it, this is where I ask for donations for this, but you only have to do this once, okay? So you don't need to. Okay. Now, the, 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 before that, the, to ask for donation uh, 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 pop-up, there is a pop-up ask if you have a template. In our case, we don't have a template. We just click empty and then click uh, move on. That's how the skeleton of the code, right? So now I'm going to just you put a, a, a symbol. This is just for test. I say hello world. Now if I run this, click on the right, but highlight the script you want to run, and run as, click on this, the right button, and then click, select the run as, Python run, hello world, right? So now the, all the configuration is correct, it's done. So that verified the PyDev and uh, the, the environment is setting up correctly. It points to the Python interpreter we just installed. Okay, that's all. Go. Now what we're gonna do is gonna move to the next, uh, the the third, uh, you know, uh, uh, section of this video, which uh, which is really to talk about how to use GitHub. Okay, so let me close this, pretending I'm starting all over again. So this is how we we'll do it. So the GitHub, I am using GitHub to to put all the class work on it. The the repository on the GitHub is Fairview 03 2018. Okay, it has all the projects, uh, all the source code, uh, documents related to the Python class. So how do we get this into you know your your, your Eclipse environment because it has the source code. Right, so these are the homeworks, all the homeworks uh, source code I'm, I already put it in here. And also homework assignment, the readme files. So what we, how do we get this repository into our PyDev environment? This is how you do it. You start a PyDev. Okay, now what what we what we're gonna do is to 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 basically get, take to go to the GitHub, grab that repository down to my uh, my machine. Okay, so you select the file, input, import. Now make sure this. Okay, I want to blow it up just so everybody. This is the menu you want to select. Import. Okay, import. So let me do this. Okay, so file import. Now you have is what well, you know. This is what will pop up, right? The way what you need to select is the Git. So you select, click on the Git. It says project from Git. Okay, so you select the project Git and click on the next button. Now here's the the, the, the tricky part. So when I click the next button, uh, there are options says it's a local repository or you have a, the repository on a network. We have the repository on a network. So the terminology to used in this is say clone, meaning uh, go to a URL, clone the entire repository onto your local computer. Okay, that's the the concept is so we, we we are selecting clone URL because we know uh, where on the network this repository is right so we we'll click on this so next now this is where it prompts us for the URL okay so where is the URL this is where you you how do you go so here is the you know you go to Plato right and you make sure the URL is let me let me balloon that up Make that bigger so you can see it. So it's GitHub, Plato AAA, Fairview, 
2018. Okay, that's the URL. Okay, so here you click on the clone or download, right? So the way you do this is you highlight this, highlight this, okay, right? So you basically, when you click on the clone and the download, it gives you a link, okay? So you can click this little icon here, okay? Click this little icon here. This will copy the URL into your clipboard okay once you copy the clipboard you come over here to this and then you can do a paste that's how you get to it okay so that's where the URL specification is basically you you come over here click on this it brings and then, and then on the the icon to the most right of this field click it it will copy the URL into your clipboard and then you come over here paste that into it okay just leave all these as it is. There's no reason for you to do that. Now, now and in the last week class, folks did ask the question about the, whether you need a account or not. Because this is an open repository, anybody can get it. You really do not need a user and a password. Okay, you don't need it. Uh, because it's the rep repository I created is a op it's free account where anybody can go uh, to get it. Okay, so you don't need to fill in the user and password. So, and then click on next. Now, uh, leave the master, because it is the master uh, branch uh, I'm using. I do not branch out, so you leave it as it is. Click the next, okay? And this tells you where this will go, okay? It's the user, blah, 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 you know, the direct. Now, what we wanted to is actually we wanted this goes to our workspace. Otherwise, we won't be able to know where that where this is, right? So, this is where we want to go. We don't want to put it into this directory. We want it to go to where we, our uh, workspace, our project default is. So let's look at this where we are, okay? So where we are, just look at the hello world. Just at least we know. <laughs> so you can click on the hello world. Click on the right button. And property, it tells me where it is. Okay, workspace. It's user slash the username is student slash workspace. Now I know where where this would be. So let me just right. So we will use this directory again. As long as you remember where it is. Okay, if you want to take a default, that's fine. But you have to make sure you understand remember where the default is okay so this is the user is student right student right this is the student and then there is a directory called workspace workspace okay you you, you want to create it uh, you want to clone the Fairfield 03 2018 into this directory okay that's where we want to go okay so let's do this again Click a file, import, project from git, select the project from git, and clone the URL, right? And this is what we want to clone to, right? So, let me, this is what we want to clone to. Click on the copy to the clipboard, click on the clone and the copy on the GitHub. This is the GitHub portion of okay? And then you just paste this here right now we'll click on the next this is where the where is on the github of this particular repository okay click on the next and then next now this is the location where you wanted this clone to be so like I said we want to clone this to to see user slash student slash workspace okay so that's the directory so we will do Okay, it will be C colon slash users slash student workspace slash Fairfield 03 2018. Okay, that's where we want to go. Uh, you can leave the rest of them are uh, as it is. You know, so now 
here's a very important piece. Uh, this repository I already pre-created and I, I created with Eclipse. So all these metadata here, project, pro these are the Eclipse PyDev uh, project related metadata. So because this is, is uh, already known, so you, you will leave it as it is because we're importing an existing Eclipse project. Sometimes uh, you may end up with this because you know the management uh, of the ownership of these repository is different from a, a programmer's responsibility. Somebody would have created this blank repository for you already, but there is no project in metadata, no nothing. In that case, you would select input as a general project, and that way you can you know add the the, the project specific uh, information to that. Okay, but this in this case it is an Eclipse project I created, so you. You just default use the default import existing Eclipse project. Okay, so click next, and uh, this is the one you want to uh, we are importing to. So that's it, guys. So we have it. Okay, we have a. This is what we import to, right? So we have this. Okay, underneath of it, there is a subdirectory called week two, right? And this is all. If you look, open up this. You will see it. There, are, there is a homework subdirectory which contains the homework source code, the README file which has more detailed information of the this particular uh, 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 homework, right? And if you click at the source, this is all the ex exercises we've done through the book. Okay, so that's how you input a repository into the Eclipse slash part. PyDev environment. All right. So this concludes the 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 video tu tutorial for this uh, and uh, you know for the class, which really covers how to install Python 2.7, and how to install PyDev in Eclipse, and the third one, which is how do you clone the repository from the uh, existing GitHub repository. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.